Black holes. Dark and terrifying voids in space that suck in and destroy everything around them. These scientific phenomena were previously only theories or the work of science fiction until the first one was actually discovered in 1971. Now scientists believe that there could be as many as a hundred million of them in our galaxy alone, and that each is capable of becoming billions of times larger than the sun. All of which begs the question, how much do we really know about black holes? Well here are 10 fascinating facts that'll really twist your noodle. Number 10. Spaghettification While nobody really knows for sure, it's widely accepted that if you were to get sucked into a black hole the size of Earth, your body would get stretched out in a process that the British astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees calls spaghettification. Hey, I always thought spaghettification was that feeling in your tummy after you ate too much spaghetti. But apparently, you'd essentially become a long stream of subatomic particles and swirl into the abyss like you see in cartoons. If you were lucky enough to fall into a black hole that was the size of your entire solar system though, the theory goes that your body might be able to hold itself together. And if by some crazy miracle you survived, you'd be able to see the curvature of space-time. This means you could see everything that has or ever will be sucked into the black hole, allowing you to view the entire history of the universe from beginning to end all at the same time. I mean, geez, try wrapping your head around that. Number 9. Time Slows Down Speaking of time, it works differently around a black hole. This is something you might already know if you've seen movies like Interstellar, only you can't believe everything you see on the big screen. It's true that time essentially slows down the closer you get to a black hole, only it ain't as simple or exaggerated as they make it out to be. Plus, time would stop completely once you pass the event horizon, which Google explains is the notional boundary around a black hole beyond which no light or other radiation can even escape. If you think of space like a uh, bedsheet, it gets warped when something heavy with a strong gravitational pull gets placed on it. Black holes, which are incredibly dense, warp the fabric of space, and as light travels nearby, it has to travel further, so it takes more time to reach its destination. Therefore, time slows down near a black hole. Number 8. Singularity The reason why black holes are so dense is because their centers are thought to contain a huge amount of matter that has been crushed and packed into an incredibly small amount of space. Eh, kind of like a mosh pit at a rock concert. Only matter gets crushed so much in a black hole that it loses all of its dimensions. The theory is called gravitational singularity, and the mass and gravitational pull is said to increase infinitely the further into a black hole you go. Not all scientists agree with the idea of singularity, but it's not like we can send a camera into the middle of a black hole to find out what's really happening anytime soon. Number 7. What do they look like from the outside? Well, the fact that nothing, not even light, can escape from the event horizon of a black hole makes it uh, impossible for us to know what one really looks like. However, we can observe the gases which fall into a black hole because they heated up and started to glow. Using a telescope or a satellite, you'd be able to see a glowing disk shape with a black hole in the center. And that's exactly what it looks like when the first image of one was taken in 2019. Number 6. Three Types of Black Holes Now's probably a good time to mention that there's actually three types of these bad boys known to exist. Stellar black holes are the smallest of the bunch, and occur when a star larger than the sun collapses in on itself. A stellar black hole the size of a major city can pack a mass that's tripled out of the sun. Then there are mid-sized black holes known as intermediates, which are formed when a cluster of stars cause a chain reaction of collisions. These were a relatively new discovery, with the first intermediate black hole discovered back in 2014. And then, there are supermassive black holes. Now, you don't have to be a genius to figure out where they rank in the size department. They're thought to exist at the center of galaxies like our own. And while their radius is about the size of the sun, their mass could be billions of times greater. Number 5. Man-Made Black Holes With all the chaos and warping that comes with talking about black holes, you'd think it'd be pretty foolish to want to create a black hole here on Earth. But, uh... 
Is it possible? Well, in the words of the celebrity astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, you wouldn't want to, but uh, you could. In fact, in 2014, scientists became very close to actually making a black hole in a lab using Hawking radiation. It's believed that microscopic ones would be harmless, though nobody has quite managed to make one yet. It sounds to me like they're playing with fire, and curiosity could kill the cat, as well as everybody else if they keep at it. Number 4. They Evaporate and Die The one saving grace that may prevent us from facing our own extinction if we do manage to create a black hole is that black holes are believed to evaporate over time, meaning they eventually die. That same Hawking radiation I mentioned just now is the same energy found near the entrances of black holes and is said to be responsible for this evaporation. According to quantum theory, when particles come into existence, they're paired with an antiparticle. When the two join together, they disappear again. Only, if they're near the border of a black hole, one of them can be sucked into the void, while the other floats off into space. The one that gets away causes the black hole to diminish over time, until it finally dies. Hey, it's kind of comforting to know that even a black hole can't escape death. Number 3. A Potential Source of Energy if there's any benefit to be had at all from creating black holes here on Earth, it's that we might be able to use Hawking radiation as a source of energy. Some scientists reckon we could one day harness the energy that's produced by quantum fluctuations of empty space. To collect it would be similar to collecting water from a well using a bucket, except uh, you'd be scooping around the edges of a black hole. Alternatively, some suggest we could use some kind of a string to let the energy just run up, kind of like the oil runs up a wick in a gas lamp. Hey, I'm not sure about you, but no amount of money or dental insurance on Earth could convince me to take a job fishing for radiation around the black hole. I tell you that much. Number 2. The Closest One Until such a time as man is capable of creating black holes, you can take a breather. Safe in the knowledge that the closest black hole to Earth is currently believed to be the V616 Mon, which appears as part of the Mon constellation and is around 3,000 light years away from us. Initially, researchers thought the closest black hole was the one at the center of the Milky Way, which is around 25,800 light years away. So maybe there is one even nearer than the V616 Mon that we just haven't spotted yet. But ignorance is bliss and there ain't no point in worrying about the unknown. Number 1. When Black Holes Collide And finally, one question you may or may not have asked yourself is, what happens when two black holes collide? Well, according to science, that did actually happen around 1.3 billion years ago, when two black holes a billion light years away from Earth came together, creating one large black hole with a mass 62 times the mass of our Sun. Hey, but don't ask me to go into too much detail about how scientists were able to figure this all out, though. I know it has something to do with the collision creating gravitational waves and producing ripples in the cosmos, which was picked up on by some LIGO detectors in September of 2015. LIGO stands for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, in case you were wondering. The discovery was hailed as one of the biggest scientific breakthroughs of the past century, with Professor Stephen Hawking describing it as a key scientific moment that could change the way we view the universe entirely. Hey, but for me, I'm still just amazed at how my microwave oven makes dinner for me in under two minutes. Anyway, as fascinating as black holes are, I still think we're best off leaving them alone and not trying to harness their energy or make any of our own. But I ain't exactly an astrophysicist, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you learned something new, do me a favor and let me know by leaving a like on the video. Time is money, so why not take a second to subscribe while you're at it and turn on notifications so you'll know about it the next time we upload. As always, thanks for tuning in. I'm Benny Billions. Appreciate you stepping by. Take it easy.